go. And here we go. I'm Cameron Cox. Big week for the Suns. The team introducing their new draft picks to the Valley. The team introducing those guys this week. It was great to meet all of them. First round pick Ryan Dunn is the guy fans are most excited about. He's been called the best defender in the draft. Now Dunn is following in his brother's footstep. This is pretty cool. Who, by the way, was a first round pick by the Mets in baseball back in 2016. Growing up, that was like one of my biggest fears was that he wouldn't be able to hear it for himself, but it was also my biggest dream that he would. So to see it be accomplished and ironically, when every, all my friends asked me where I wanted him to go, this was one of the places that I had for him. Coming up through the big leagues and like being around veterans, I, I figured this was three of the best veterans that you could have to teach you how to have a pretty good career. So I'm super happy he's here and you know, we're both just very blessed. How cool is that? All right, here we go. I'm one on one with the Suns' first round pick. Dunn is NBA ready. Plus, he and his mom have been planning for draft day his entire life. You're joining a team with Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Bell. We're talking some of the game's best, and you now get to be a part of that. What's that feeling like? It's, it's great. Um, as a kid, I looked up to those players, especially Kevin Durant. That was probably my favorite player growing up. So, you know, being able to share the floor with him and learn from him is great. But in practice, you know, going up against him and competing with him and learning how to be a real pro and to be a great player in this league, I'm excited for, especially with Bradley Beal and even Devin Booker. They call you the best defender in the draft. You get to guard now some of the best scorers in the league and go up against them in practice. Good way to test your skills, right? Yeah, now we get to see if I'm a real good defender that people say I am, but, you know, it's just all just hard work and a motor, you know. There's going to be times where they catch me, but I'm going to try to go back as much as I can. What's it like to have people question your shooting ability? I mean, you're a basketball player. You've been shooting your entire life. It's it's, it's tough at first, but you got to understand what people are going to say. Um, I can control it all, and I can control, and that's just more getting more reps. So I'm excited you know, to get, get to Phoenix, get to work on that, and just continue to get some shots up. You win the draft day outfit, by the way, and you also win the draft day arrival. Where did you get the D-backs jersey coming off the plate? So it's kind of crazy because the day before, um, me and my brother went to the MLB, MLB headquarters and they got a custom jersey made. I love the Phoenix, I mean, I love the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, City Connect jerseys, the cream one. So I wanted to get that one made. So I got that with my, with my college number on it, but they had, didn't have the City Connect, so I got the home jerseys. So it was kind of crazy, you know, being drafted to Phoenix, you know, having that one. So I had to wear it to Phoenix. That's what I had to do. When you put that jersey on, when you got it, did any thought about maybe the Suns were going to pick you at all? That's going to happen? A little, we talked about it, but it was just more fun. But now being drafted to Phoenix is, is crazy. So I'm glad, I'm glad it happened. Uh, what can this team do? do now with you Oso, and kind of what they're building here and what James has told you? I think just, you know, having us use athleticism as much as we can um, and learning from these guys that can help us, you know, mixing the young with the youth. Get you out here on this. You said growing up you used to put on the draft uh, the suit yeah. and pretend like you were getting drafted. My mom's probably will laugh, but I used to wear a suit when I was young and watch it on TV and dream walking across that stage. What did those suits look like when he was uh -huh. a little kid? Shorts and a navy blue blazer and a white shirt. He talked about it since he was little. I can remember seeing the day with him standing in the living room waiting for his name to be called. In those suits he talked about? Yes, in those suits with his hat behind his, head, his, his back, waiting, just waiting patiently for his name to be called. And his patience paid out. How did the putting on the suit for draft day kind of live up to? A little more stylish? A little more stylish, a little more, a little more surreal. Um, and it was just crazy walking up that stage, Lil Ryan, we did it. Um, and, it just know, like you imagined or better? I think a little bit better, you know, with all the lights and the cameras and stuff. But it's something that I really enjoyed. And that line right there, Lil Ryan, we did it. Pretty cool to hear, right? All right, so done. Signed right there on the end. So is Valley Boy Oso Igrodaro. He just signed a four-year, nearly $8 million contract. One of the highest guaranteed salaries for a second-round pick ever. Both these guys are going to get chances, like real minutes to help this team this season. Let's just get one thing out of the way first. The local kid right here did not grow up a Suns fan. Yeah, I didn't really grow up a Suns fan. The Suns weren't very good when I was growing up, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, but... Yeah, I grew up watching a lot of LeBron James. It was my favorite player. Watched Kevin Durant, obviously. Um, so it's it's to have someone like that on the team is special. And I was one. I liked the players. I would watch. I just you know it was. But we're growing. We're, we're trying to improve. Trying to win a championship now. So uh, I'm a Suns fan now for sure. Oh, great recovery there, right? I don't blame him. By the way, those years he's talking about, those were the dark years a decade ago that fans would, we would just like to forget about, right? The Chandler native won a state title out of Desert Vista High School back in 2020, and now he's ready to help 
bring an NBA title to his valley. What's happening in this picture right here? We're up probably 20 at that point in the game, just having fun on the bench, supporting our teammates. Uh, Deshaun LeCue, Andrew King, and Tayon Thompson, those are my guys. Love those guys. I still talk to those guys every day. We have our group chat, still text. and I learned how to be a leader and learn how to win on that team. All right, so this picture right here I really like. You hugging the, the trophy. What would it mean to have another photo like that, but with the Larry O'Brien trophy? Man, that'd be everything. I, my goal my whole life has been to win at all three levels. Um, I won in high school, won Big East championships in college, and to win an NBA championship would be a dream come true. To be back home in the city you grew up in, playing for the hometown team, has that hit you yet? I mean, it's, it's been amazing just hearing my name called and finding out that I was being traded to the Suns has been a blessing. Super excited to be out here. When you look at this team, how do you fit? How could you help this team? Yeah, I think I can be a connector. I think my playmaking and passing, uh, my IQ for the game and being able to play without the ball in my hands so much uh, will be a great fit. And then defensively, I think that my ability to switch, I think I'll be able to show that early on. Yeah, you and Ryan both really good defenders. What's it going to be like to test those skills every day in practice against really three of the best scorers in the league? Yeah. They're going to come at you. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't expect anything else. I'm excited. Uh, I think that they're only going to make me and Ryan better. You mentioned you met KD a few weeks ago. Uh, what did he say to you? What was that meeting like? Any any joke like, hey, man, we might be on the same team in a few weeks? Nah, nothing like that. I had just watched him work out, and then he was walking to the weight room, so I just introduced myself. It's impressive to watch him work out. Yeah, it is. He, he goes at it. Yeah, it works out at a high level. Every rep is game rep, so... Yeah, when I meet him again, I'll probably introduce myself again. <laughs> Just, Were you that nervous kid like, hey, hey Mr. Durant, nice nah, to meet you? I, was, I wasn't nervous, but I knew he, do, he doesn't know who I am probably, so... Uh, yeah, just for him to even take the time and introduce himself to the rest of the guys in my pre-draft group, it meant a lot. Coming back home, where's the first stop? Where do you go? What's, what, what do you do when you come back home now? I go to Rubio's, get, get, get myself a burrito from there. It's my favorite restaurant What's ever. What's the order? Tell us the order. Cool. It's, it's real simple. They're going to make fun of me. No, but I get, I get two bean and cheese burritos. No salsa. That's my. That's You're not in high school anymore. You can upgrade that just a little bit. You, you got to try it, though. Okay. You got to try it. Shout out Rubio's. <laughs> hey, Rubio's, by the way, I think we need to, to rename that bean and cheese burrito the Oso, right? Make that happen moving forward. Both these guys are excited to join the team. It was great to talk to them and meet Ryan Dunn's family. Both helped the Suns accomplish some of their offseason goals this offseason, which, of course, getting younger, getting better on defense, a little more athletic. Check, check, check. They also got a backup point guard coming in and Monte Morris. Like, Suns are doing everything possible to retool this roster and really contend. Moving forward, here's what I think they should do. Bradley Beal got to become Drew Holiday. He's got to be the main point guard moving forward. Let Book be the shooting guard. Put Kevin Durant back at the three. Stop putting Kevin Durant out there at the power forward. Get someone else, maybe like Oso, to play down there uh, with the big man. But put Kevin Durant back there at the three at small forward. You're going to have shooting off the bench with Grayson Allen. You're going to have defense off the bench too as, uh, as well. Bring guys like Royce O'Neal back and these young cats. Look out, the Suns building something this offseason to kind of get some revenge for what has been a disappointing end the past couple of seasons. Thank you so much for watching. Here we go. I'm Cameron Cox. Remember, happiness is a choice. Go out and make it a great day.